kind of feel like those upperclassmen that have a lot of gains in their system should compete at a higher level than maybe say a younger player, a freshman who doesn't have a lot of games, or, or maybe a sophomore who didn't get a lot of playing time. So certainly the expectations are super high for returning players that have a lot of games under their belt. Obviously the ultimate goal is to win a national championship. I mean, that's what our whole philosophy is. If one more this year, that's been our team. There's one more, so one more game, one more win, one more sprint, one more of everything that we do. But I think our first goal can't be winning a national championship. It has to be winning our first game and then winning our second game. And so we put ourselves in a position where we actually have the opportunity to do our ultimate goal. I think that the way that our team plays is um, really fast-paced and a lot of passing and moving. and. The movement sometimes can be confusing if you haven't played on this team before, so it can be helpful to answer questions and give advice on where to move and how to play and like just how everyone can have a good chemistry. Uh, a couple of players that have really stepped up, uh, Taylor Marks has been a fantastic leader for us. Uh, Maven Parsons has been a, a great leader for us. Uh, right now, Hubert Elberstar uh, has really taken a leadership role. It'll be interesting uh, when the girls vote. and. Uh, I am not afraid to have six or seven captains, to be honest, because if that's what the team thinks is best going to help us, then we go for it and, and we have quite a few leaders, so it doesn't just fall on one or two players' shoulders. I want to be that player that people can come to, to if they have questions or if they need help, someone who's always encouraging the team even when we're having a rough patch or something, and help the younger girls get into it and not be shy and be ready to give everything because this year we want to win the national championship. I think our senior leadership is going to be tremendous because we have people who have been through so much. Um, and then we have people who have kind of experienced every role of college soccer. And so as a senior, we can help guide them along the way. We've probably gone through most of the things that they can bring at us. Part of the culture here is, is we play for 90 minutes. And, uh, you know, a lot of these young ladies have been in games that have been tight and uh, kind of ha have that notion that the game is never over until the final whistle blows. When you have upper class, and I think that's what they bring to the game, they're, they're used to winning, they're used to fighting to the end. And so uh, I, I hope that they can grab some of these younger players and just convince them that the game isn't over until that final whistle.